On November 13th, the Pocomo Rec Center was once again host to the Hyde Creek Salmon Festival. All right, Jay Peachy here at the Hyde Creek Salmon Festival. Um, I have a lot of salmon-themed art here, and uh, but I'm next to the painted turtle people, so I decided to paint a painted turtle. And um, I'm really uh, into collaborating with environmental groups. A lot of my art is uh, environmental-themed and related to the mental health. So we're going to do some collaborative fundraising. We'll uh, do some cards and prints and uh, work with the originals. So. Um, I'm really into supporting the groups that are putting back nature and uh, it all, all kind of works out. Hi, my name's Karen Wheatley and I'm a volunteer with Owl Wharf and Wildlife. We rehabilitate birds of prey in Ladner, BC. And this is Jessie, one of our permanent non-releasable birds. She was hit by a car and she has some permanent brain damage which enables her to not be released back into the wild. So she lives at Owl and comes to off-sites such as this to educate the public about her species. The Burke Mountain Naturalists, we're based in the Tri-Cities and we're here at the High Creek Salmon Festival to let people know about all the things that we do. One of the things we do is we have a nest box program in regional parks. We put up nest boxes for swallows and chickadees and owls and we go out and we maintain them every year and check them in the spring to see who's used them. The other thing that we do is we try to make people more aware of important environmental issues in the community. One of them is Riverview. We're really concerned about this site because it's a beautiful site, a world-class collection of trees, and a site for mental health care in the Tri-Cities. The provincial government intends on closing the hospital down very soon and we would like to see, first of all, the tree collection and its heritage buildings protect it. And quite frankly, it would be nice to see mental health care services continued there as well. Hi, my name is Amanda Crost and I'm the Executive Director of the Alouette River Management Society. We're a society that formed in 1993 in Maple Ridge uh, to bring back water to the Alouette River. Um, the Alouette River it flows from Golden Ears Park um, through Maple Ridge and Pitt Meadows and into Pitt River. So we advocated with BC Hydro to bring back this water and we were successful in 1996 with the first water use plan in British Columbia. We're working with many groups including BC Hydro, DFO and Ministry of Environment to hopefully bring a fish ladder over Alouette Dam. We do many education programs in Maple Ridge, Pitt Meadows and across the lower mainland for um, school groups, we do field trips at our hatchery and our municipal park, and uh, we do many uh, pro uh, projects um, from enhancement programs for uh, coho salmon um, to restoration of uh, riparian areas and removing invasive species. And if you want healthy salmon populations, you can't be putting nasty substances into those storm drains. Get things like herbicides and pesticides in the springtime. People who paint their houses uh, will wash their, their gear off on the roads. We have brake fluid. We have antifreeze. We have oil on the roads. We have metals from brake pads. It all ends up on the road. So coho fry spend a whole year in fresh water before they leave in the spring of the following year. So that's about 18 months. And they spend another 18 months in the ocean to get to this size. So in the first 18 months, they're about this long. And then the next 18 months, they put on all the rest of this growth and all the rest of that weight. My name is Les Slayton. I'm the chair of the Stony Creek Environment Committee. We're a, a community group. Uh, Stony Creek flows off of uh, Burnaby Mountain into the, into the Brunette River. And uh, we, we have various groups of birding groups and botany and uh, salmon spawning invertebrates that uh, monitor the stream throughout the year. All right, folks, we have that salmon dissection My name's Gary, I'm the owner of Riverside Fly and Tackle on Shaughnessy and Lougheed. And today we're tying flies for kids. 
showing them how to tie flies and all the different materials that we use to tie them. We let them pick all the different materials that we have in front of us. Um, you know, just to show them some examples of what we use as far as fly tires. Um, you know, pheasant, deer hair, uh, turkey quills, uh, ostrich, and just show the kids how we tie. My name is George Bosnick. I, I'm uh, a representative from the uh, Fraser River Discovery Centre in New Westminster. We're on the quay in, in New Westminster. We do a lot of work with, uh, with, with school groups. Uh, we do major displays. Right now our major display is Plants Alive, which we have a, a display of native plants of, of British Columbia. We work with school groups a lot, and we, we do a special program for, for the class. Beautiful parade! My name is Crystal and I'm with the Wildlife Rescue Association of BC and we are a wild animal hospital. We're the people you would bring any injured or orphaned wild animals to in the Lower Mainland and if you have any wildlife related questions you can call our hotline as well and our number is 604-526-7275. If you find wild an any injured wild animal, never try to help it yourself. Instead, give us a call first, please, because we know exactly what to do. Never feed or pet any wild animals either. The best thing to do is to leave them alone. If they look like they're injured, give us a call and we'll be able to give you some advice instead. Hi, I'm Mike Griffin and I want to welcome you to Minnacarda Regional Park, situated in the northeast of Coquitlam. The, the park consists of two units, the Minnacarda Lodge, which was built in 1931, has been restored to its original uh, colors and buildings and so forth, and the farm. The farm, unfortunately, is uh, under construction or restoration because of ill abuse in the past by people who rented it. Right now, I'd like to Welcome you to our sixth annual Minicata Park Christmas Carol sing-along on Sunday, December the 4th from 1 to 4, where we, we hold the uh, festivities with a Yule log fire, uh, carol singing, music, and light refreshments available to cost. Uh, we hold our meetings in the lodge uh, on the third Wednesday fourth Wednesday of the month and it's in the lodge from seven till nine.